it's a great time for everyone. This one trickles through, and that's going to be a goal for the Pirates. And the Portland Junior Pirates take an early 1-0 lead. Looked like a deflection on the way Holding through. Off. Plenty of time with the puck. Thrown on to Miller. Agni shot save. Badger throws it in front for Greco. Shot save. Shot save again. And now a goal. On the other end of the deflection, Captain Ryan Badger. Badgering the witness? No. Badgering the goaltender? Yes. And this game's all knotted up at one. This is thrown on Parker Stevens. Shot deflection high. Goal! Pop fly goal. And the score, two to one. Put into the zone by Kronstrand. Kronstrand holds shot. Score! And the Pirates tie it up. Sear looking for someone to give it to. Can't find him. Over to Sidario. Sidario thrown in front. Burmester shot. Greco shot. Score! The power play goal. Kreit throws ahead here. Greco with a chance. Greco to Badger. Badger shot. Score! What a shot by Badger. His second goal of the game. Gave on by Ron Greco. Greco, who scored earlier, returns the favor. Badgering the witness. No. Badgering the goaltender. Yes. Ryan Badger does it again. His second goal of the game. Badger's been all over the ice thus far. Turn over here in their own zone. Past the lines, line shot, score! And for the fourth time in two games, Zach Line turns the back of the net. Looked like Anthony Sedario on the assist. And once again, we enter the third period with a close contest. And once again, the Flyers are pulling away. Wheels up. The Flyers are flying high with a score, five to two. Sear forces a turnover here, lines with it, lines gives it to Sedario, Sedario with it, back to line shot, Zach Lines is at it again! Zach Lines with his fifth third period goal in two games, his second today, and your Flyers lead 6-2! to two. two, one, and that'll do it! The score, your Flyers 6, the visiting Pirates 2, and once again, your Flyers win! For the ninth consecutive time, the Flyers are victorious. And in the win column, 38 points on the year, just two behind the league-leading hitmen. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you are back out here tomorrow. 120 start here at the Skate Zone. Flyers versus Pirates yet again. ask you, with um, heavily out shooting Portland in the first two periods, do you feel you got better quality and that's why more goals went in in the third as opposed to what happened in the first two? Uh, we didn't have as, as good a net front presence as I would have liked in the, in the first and second period. Uh, we were generating generating shots, but we weren't getting any second opportunities, so we, we just kind of weren't, weren't digging digging as hard as we needed to. So we made, made some adjustments in that third period. I thought the boys... They finished strong today. So. so it was more of the quality in the third opposed to the first two. Yeah. Now, uh, Coach, nine-game winning streak. That's more than just being a good hockey team, I would have to admit. Uh, what are you doing as a head coach to keep these guys in each and every game the battle every day? Well, a lot of it's, it's habits. So uh, we put a lot of emphasis on doing things the right way, uh, you know, and, and we're big believers in, you know, practice doesn't make perfect. Practice makes permanent. Perfect practice makes perfect. So we really, each and every practice, uh, we make sure the guys are, are prepared. They're ready to go. We're getting ready for the weekend for whoever we're playing. Uh, and, and, you know, just really putting a, a strong emphasis on our on, on being prepared and, uh, and, and working hard. And final question, since you'll be out here quick tomorrow, you're waking up early, I'm sure. Uh, final question, what's up with the goaltender play of late? Guys out of the half <laughs> well, we've been uh, we've been getting solid goaltending all around, so uh, you know that's a good position to be in. Want to keep everybody fresh here as, as we kind of go through this uh, mid-season mid-season run. Keep everybody fresh, keep everyone on their toes, and uh, I think it's it's working for us so far. So we'll continue with that tomorrow as well. Thank you, coach. Good luck Thank you. Now, as as a captain of this team, as a leader in the framework of this team. I asked your head coach how he keeps you guys ready. How do you guys keep yourselves ready? How are you winning nine straight games? What do you have to do each day to come out with that mindset? 
Uh, it's really just coming together as a team. Like everyone's starting to have a lot of confidence in each other. Everyone believes in what we're doing and everyone trusts the other guys on the ice. So we know going into the game that we have a great shot at winning. All right, Ryan, we're going to let you get out of here since you have an early day tomorrow. So thank you. All right, thank you. We're here now with Zach Lyons, the now third period hero, Mr. Third Period of the Philadelphia Flyers. Five third period goals in the last two days. We're going to open it up to public forum questions first. Zach, Ryan, shoot. Um, with that being said, of five goals in two games all coming in the third period, uh, what do you feel is going well for you that you're able to net five in two periods? Uh, I feel like, well, especially in the third, we had two periods with uh, to, to play against uh, one team, and we really found uh, what their uh, weaknesses were, and we uh, talked as a line what we need to do better. And I guess it just like it worked out. Like we discussed things, changed things up, and it pays off in the third. So. Now, uh, your lines played huge these last two games. What do you guys have to do to start a little better tomorrow against this Pirates team when you're coming back against the same team tomorrow? Uh, we just got to come out uh, hard. We always last two games, I'd say we came out a little slow. Uh, we're not moving our feet as much. We're not hitting our four checks off, and that really uh, it just kind of slows the game down a little too much. That's not for us. We're a fast team. We play fast paced. That's when we really shine. So that's how we got to come out tomorrow. Well, thank you, Zach. I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Thank you. And gives throw to O'Neill, who's loose here. O'Neill's got a man shot, saved by Hextall and sticked away. Beautiful play by Jeff Hextall in net again. Brady Florent with a nice pass to Lucas Michaud. Michaud into the zone here. Michaud thrown in front, shot, score. The Pirates take the early lead for the second day in a row. The Portland Junior Pirates take an early 1-0 lead. Now thrown in front. No, another shot, goal! Ryan Badger, his third goal in two games. Badgering the witness, no. Badgering the goaltender, yes. And this game's all knotted up here as your captain, Ryan Badger, drives home a beautiful shot, tied at one. He's in the game. Shot score! Trevor Gooch finds Devin Brink. Shot score! A cool off and Connor Mike off the face of deflection. Score! Sam Buck worth a million bucks there as he drives that one home on a deflection try. Connor Mike trying to get a goal, but Sam Buck says, I'll take it from here. Deflection through the five hole, and your Flyers lead. Four to one. And able to control it, gives it back to Lines. Lines the fourth forward here. Lines gives the Gooch. Gooch, one timer, no. Eviston doesn't take it. Lines back to Eviston. Eviston wrist her high. Score! The Bryce is right here at the Flyers skate zone as Bryce Eviston finds the back of the net. And your Flyers lead, five to one. Any of the sights I mentioned early, shot, score, and the Pirates have notched their second goal of the game. This time it's Eric Grover. Grover looks to the right, shot by the Nicholas, score! And the Pirates have notched two consecutive goals as the score is now five to three. Saved by Hexel, another shot, score, Tommy Daniels. And it is now five to four. The Pirates are fighting back in this one. And it is not over yet, folks. Do not turn us off. Tommy Daniels with his second goal of the game carries on. The extra skater's on for the Pirates. Thrown over the head of Hextall. And around the back of the net, Plate goes to get it. Can't get there. And thrown on by Brink. Open net opportunity. Gooch, can he do it? Shot! Score! And your Flyers are up by two. And Trevor Gooch is tied for the league leading goals once again as he gets an empty net opportunity and drives it home. Straight and 2 1 ball game. Your Flyers win it again, the 10th consecutive for the Philadelphia Flyers junior hockey team. Once again, the scoring comes from all over. And once again, the, the Flyers dominate the third period, fighting back from three unanswered Pirates goals with three of their own. 
and it's a 6-4 victory for your Flyers, who are now just one measly point away from the Jersey Hitman for first place. need to take care of business and, uh, and and just show up ready to to play our brand of hockey for 60 minutes and and do the little things and uh, you know I think we'll we'll be ready for the hitmen come Friday but we will not be overlooking the Rangers on Tuesday we'll be ready to go love it coach thank you thank you all right we're here with Jeff Hextall the winning goaltender today three and zero in his last three decisions in net Jeff you got the win today your third straight win but you have the same kind of face on that uh, Joe Young had a few days back when he played the Islanders. You don't feel like you've played your best. Where could you have gotten better today, or what kind of, how the pucks get by you? Let's put it that way. It's tough uh, with screens in front of the net. You got guys, you can't see the puck. Um, There's not really much you could do but try and find it, and couldn't find the two there that were screens. Now, you, Joe Young, Curtis Fry, three goaltenders all playing like starting goaltenders right now. Do you guys feed off each other? Is it almost like a pitching staff in baseball where you're feeding off each other's good play lately? Yeah, it's uh, we try and keep each other motivated, try and uh, stay happy, and just do whatever you got to do to make the other goalie play as well as he can. And now, when you when you guys aren't getting starts every day now because of how well each other are playing, is it become harder to be in net each time, or are you fresher? Is being fresher better as a goaltender, or would you rather be playing every day? Uh, I think every goalie would rather play every every game. It's not very realistic when you got three guys fighting for the spot. But uh, I don't know. You just got to play well every time you get a chance to be in that. Try and prove yourself. Well, thank you, Jeff. No problem.